Now what if you could one-shot any pal in this game with extreme ease? That's what I'm about to try and make today. Thanks to my recent capture of a giant crystal ice horse thing, I can now start breeding things with the legend ability, which is 20% attack and defense. Although I might just let these two hang out for a bit. No harm in getting a bunch of frost eye and knocks for free. Now to go from this big icicle guy all the way to getting legend on this little penguin, I need to successfully breed four different pals that have legend on it. But it starts with this handy little fire dog who is only active at nighttime in a region I haven't explored. So while I wait for night, I figure I'll just end up making my base a little bit better. Army of Anubis, go get him. Able to make our bed somewhat nicely. I just need more claw. There's a real easy fix for that, though. Pretend you're a loose school bus and crash into the innocent little lamb balls. They're so cute. It sucks that I have to kill them, but hey. I want to make sure my employees, quote unquote, can sleep somewhat comfortably. Don't run from me. Get over. <laughs> oh, hi, little pangulate. Hi, little pangulate. It's so funny that they just rolled down the hill with their dead body. <laughs> ah, bliss. Oh, there's like a whole school of them over here. I don't know why I used the term for fish, but they're sleeping with them now. Uh, I've got a lot of wool now. Just gonna make the assumption it's enough. A few moments later. I'm three beds short. It's fine. I just added some werewolves to a ranch. It'll sort itself out. Half of my breeding pen is outside of my circle, but does everyone still breed fine? Yeah. All right, sick. Kind of important for this whole getting stronger thing. Putting the power generated by the breeding farm, because that's where the sparks fly. So this lovable little doofus. But to catch you up to speed, basically we've caught our kitsune in Frostallion. We picked up this bee guard from an egg who's able to give us honey as long as you stay in the ranch. And I have to go gather a bunch of other resources, but I wanted to start trying to make cakes even on this old cooking pot. That way I can make the rocket launcher of my dreams. Which one's finally done. Thank you. Maybe we'll get lucky on this very first egg and it'll just have legend off rip, please nope. game or not. All right. Well, I got a Wumpo Botan with Ice Emperor now. Just keep trying little guy. Now breeding's basically just a waiting game. And while I was flying up to where the Keatson were, I think I just stumbled across what might be like the best mining base spot in all of Pow World. Let's just clear out the local wildlife, please. Huh? Be gone, be guards. Away from here. Oh, I think they're about to blow up. What if I just fly up into the sky? Yep, they just murder themselves. Not the smartest pals, are you? But look, there's like 15 regular ore deposits in like eight coal. So if I just smack this down in the middle like so, do pals spawn normally in here? Even the really big guys. Wow, looks like. So with the two little saunas being built here, this place is practically done. It's got 20 of the worst beds imaginable and a feed box filled with 1,200 berries. However, it's enough to get the job done. Frostian, why are you out of the pen? Stay in there. Form a connection. All right, egg number two. If you'd please have everything except for the one I want. That's, yep, that's what I was hoping for. Thank you. Dang it. All right, on to egg number three and still a no. Okay. Today's going to be a tough day. Surely this egg will be the answer to all my prayers, right? No, no, it wouldn't. Maybe I should just come back a little later into the process. One sec. So we're back and I uh, might have made a bit too many eggs on accident. That's fine. I just need one of these to have legend game. If you would. Okay, it hates me. Oh, never mind. I got it on my second try. I've got so many eggs I don't need anymore. This is what I get for going AFK. I got a male Dazi, so now I need a female T-Fant. But I still want to pick you up like a little cloudy baseball and chuck you 90 miles an hour right into the breeding pit. I also did kind of keep improving my base out. It's still not perfect because the game, you know, didn't give me all my resources when I broke my last base, but it's a start. Now I think you can get tea fans from somewhere over here. In all honesty, I've got five goldfish from memory, so I wasn't sure, but looks like I found one. Now, apparently there's a glitch you can do where if you throw a sphere and it didn't actually work. Whoops. Bruh. I did catch that tea fan though, so win-win. Okay, so I've got 42 legendary spheres. It's apparently if you just throw a legendary and then quickly swap to your basic pal spheres it's supposed to not take it i was gonna say i'm really bad at this i guess but i've just successfully done it like five times in a row i'm at 40 legendary spheres currently throw it swap still at 40 and that's a legendary feel free to exploit that to your own desire good thing i've got all those vixies to continuously give me basic spheres huh but now i've got a male t-faint with no skill and a female dazzy with only legend come here you little elephant you're extremely cute and somehow weightless to my super strength. Get in there. Hey, buddy, you better fall in love and be happy and give me a child. I sound like a doting parent or something. And I wanted to make more cakes, but these stupid
stupid cows aren't going to the dang ranch and I need milk. Oh, I don't like how I'm just palming it by the udders. That's so gross. And what happened to this guy? All right, I'll let them fall in love and I'll let them get me milk for my cakes. Obviously, if I'm making the most busted pangolet, I want to find one with actually good abilities. And I'm going to need a lot of these guys to get that star rating up. Come here, your little blue devil. Call one. Wow, bad abilities. Eee. Why is there no more pangolets anywhere? Fine. I'll go to the water area. Yeah, there you are. I knew it. Don't you run from me. Stop it. Everybody stay in their balls and one of you have muscle head ferocious on it. That would have been the dream. I guess I could keep catching tea fans. They could also have a skill that I want that breeds in a pangolet. How many of these guys do I need actually? Wait, how are you running on this water? That's so deep. Some things don't make sense in this world and that's okay. I love when there's just big groups of them. <laughs> just like watching all the spheres catch at once. All right, buddies, come on. You're all coming home with me. Oh, wait, one has ferocious. God, he's got four of their skills, but that's fine. That's a start. With breeding, all you need is that one trait. Wait, I think I know of a very easy way to farm pangolets. What am I doing? I come all the way over here to the realm of the frozen wings, and inside is all these little penguins. These guys are a high level though, which is a bit annoying, but I mean, just throw hyperspheres at them. It's fine. He did. Still works. Once I've caught them all, leave, and then just get right back in and do it all over again. All right, I'm out of all my spheres, but my pal and legendary one, so just this once, be doing a little bit of exporting. No, wait, I caught Pen King on accident. No. Oh, well, this dungeon's bust for an hour. Let's head home, Ragnarok. Oh, an egg's ready. I didn't even know I had cake in this thing still. That works out great, actually. Show me what I want to see, game. Oh, you did? Oh, it's got three other traits. That's gross, but that's fine. All right, to really get this pangolet kind of how I want it, though, we're going to make another breeding center. I need a perfect four, and this Fwack has one of the skills that I need. So if we put a male Fwack in, we can just put this Joltog in that only has one other skill, and now the chances of them giving me a muscle headed pangolet starting to work pretty high oh you guys got another egg done ideally this would be a pangolet with just legend oh legend clumsy i guess that's actually not half bad the less attributes you have whenever you're trying to breed onto something the better when you start adding four in on one pal four in on the other the odds of you getting what you want get a little well uh bad all right little guys a cake for you and a cake for you now what do i keep coming up short with on cake i need to start making more flour and more milk on it got plenty of wheat for the flour currently don't have anybody to water at my base though yeah you tide you're weakened but come on out buddy god it looks so sad you're just so clearly in pain and puking everywhere and for some reason i can't give you this medicine here you go get fed this high grade medical supply <laughs> you just bit my head off all right back to work go on can i just buy milk from my red merchant are you selling it yes you are buy the max oh i'm broke whoops okay i've got a lot of comments telling me that nails are for some reason the best money making method in power world why how much do they sell for 3200 off 20 nails that's 10 ingots isn't it i understand well 125 milk purchased give me this egg give me that egg got a legend in pyromaniac one and then oh my gosh i did get muscle head it's accompanied with other stuff but that that's fine. I've got a legend clumsy guy. So now I can start rolling the dice to try and get muscle head and legend on the same thing, which as you know, huge damage upgrade. Because now my next little venture is trying to get this female Kremis, who is one of the cutest pals, I think, in this entire game. Get in there, little cotton swab. And this shiny tansy I got. This will also create a pangolet, but I'm looking to try and steal the lucky trait off of him. Lucky is another 15% attack boost, so that's extremely nice. All right, Mr. Egg, what do we have? Legend clumsy? Wow, oh, it's like not what we want at all. Give me muscle head. Let me also go into my tech tree, because I need to make sure. Yep, unlock it. And I can't even build it oh i need more iron ingots man i still don't have enough for a furnace i need more polymer which means i need more high quality pal oil all right you cuties drop that don't you there we go 18 high quality pal oil probably need more does this boss drop some of that stay in the sphere buddy i want your goodies just learn that if you leave the dungeon before you catch them it for some reason doesn't count it's making me waste my dang resources you two haven't made an egg yet hurry it up i want to go blow stuff up electric furnace has been well blueprinted they'll control Constructed here soon. Throw five cakes in each breeding pen, and I feel like we're gonna be coming along nicely. How fast do you make 171 ingots in this thing? It's quick, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. All right, let's take a few of those, and now I can get my hands a little grubby pingolet rocket launcher. Anubis, wow, 
How did you come from behind me? What? You're coming with me. I kind of just want to test this out. Give me a little level one pangolin. What do you do? He just, oh, he does not want to get shoved in here. Oh no. Oh, he doesn't look happy at all about this. Launch. That's. <laughs> oh no, he's dead. Oh, pangolin, no. Well, that's to be expected. God, I can't wait to shoot that at an unsuspecting victim. Huh? See, well, that's a muscle head pangolin without legend. That's Okay, a disappointment, in other words. Come on, game, be lucky. Lucky and conceited. Okay, well, that's at least one pangolet I needed. So I think while those pangolets all get busy making eggs, Bruh. I want to capture me a couple bee guards. Go, oh, level one pangolin rocket. That did 30 damage, buddy, you suck. That's all right, still caught him. I'd like to catch at least one more right there. That gives me their honey, but also means four of them are currently sitting in my pal box. Oh, where I would like to go back to. Oh, God, I'm in gobfin territory. Let's keep moving keep moving. I think it's easy enough to just continually kill stuff to get honey, but since I'm about to be standing around for like 45 minutes, forward march. That way they'll just always give me honey and instead I don't need to breed, you know, the cows and chickens or whatever. Um, I'm just going to make a crap ton of nails and then sell them all to see how much money I get. The comments keep me informed and for that I'm appreciative. Also, I picked up this little redonte. Can we get something cool? It's, oh, a leaf monk with ferocious? That might actually be a huge help. And a pangolet that just has lucky on it? That might also actually be a huge help. And a pangolet with just legend on it? That's, well, kind of a beautiful thing to see. Yes, and they're the opposite gender. That means I can put my one attribute lucky with my three attribute pangolet. And now there's a much better chance that I actually pull muscle head. And this is crazy. This leaf monk that pulled ferocious happens to be male. And to breed into a pangolet off leaf monk, you need a burnt slug. And mine just so happens to be female. Also with Ferocious, the gods want me to make the ultimate pangolet rocket launcher. It's the only explanation. Well, time to stay in here for a while. A few minutes later. All right, it's been a little bit and I've got three eggs of each kind. In an ideal world here, I would just have one Ferocious pangolet and no other stat on them. But this one doesn't even have Ferocious. So clearly we don't live in an ideal world. Come on, third tries to charm, please. Okay, this one has Ferocious and then two horrible, horrible stats. Let's check out what you guys are what oh pangolet with muscle head okay that's literally like exactly what i was wanting and then another pangolet with muscle head and a few other stats that's fine luckily the muscle headed pangolet i got happened to be female which coincides perfectly with this little male pangolet that's lucky the odds of me getting a lucky muscle head just went up by a crap ton now still waiting on ferocious though out of you two also i finished 332 nails i've been wondering about that comment that said nails are the most expensive or profitable oh wow Wow, that's okay 53,000 gold huh yeah seems pretty good I could buy all the eggs ever that we'll settle for 500 and 500 milk too please uh, how many cakes can I make now oh now we're talking and now we're once again back to yet another waiting game back again where each pal has dropped me three eggs this is kind of my spot that I like to come back and actually check everything out just because I've been getting lucky recently and it's confirmation bias however I'm no longer getting lucky that's a destructive pangolin everything is set and Yes, I'm getting lucky. Everything works. I love life. Man, and then another one with Ferocious. All right, I got one lucky muscle head, but it also has Mind Foreman and Vanguard. Don't know where that came from. I'm really just looking for lucky muscle head if I can get it. That honestly might not be too bad. Lucky muscle head and glutton. But all right, let's take my Ferocious little pangolin. Chuck you in there. I gotta admit, throwing the absolute curveball pitch into the breeding pen might be my favorite part about this whole process. Bruh. The only downside is this male pangolin I have has Legend Clumsy, so it's not like I'm trying to get a one-on-one -on -one trait, but... Like I said, I'm feeling lucky. It's like this pangolet I just hatched. Oh, yes, I got a muscle head and lucky pangolet. Now, if I can just get the ferocious legend out of you, everything would work out great. Tell you what, let's just make it this one egg, huh? Show me legend. Oh, no, I saw double gold and thought it was good. Well, more cakes for y'all then. So I should have the last eggs I ever need made. And sure enough, there you are. 20% attack, 30% attack, 20% attack, 15% attack. Nice little 85% boost. But of course we can make everything, well, much, much better. Thanks to the mass amount of these guys that I have caught. He's up to a three star. And if I just go catch 12 more, that'll be enough. This shouldn't take long. Back once more for the great pangolet purge. It is extremely fun to say. Thank you for your sacrifice. 
small little creatures. Now I've got the level five Pangolin Cannon and I can still come over here and crank up his attack and his defense just to be safe. All right, the fastest way to level this guy up, most definitely just to come up to the ice zone, murder something, try and catch something new, get your level up. Stay in there, thank you. Look at that, level 30 already. All right, this little guy's all the way up to level 35. I've been trying to think about what to test him against. And so as a quick test at level 35, let's check you out against the level 31 Relaxosaurus, buddy. That's a good 1100 HP from him. Wait, he survived this now? Uh, yeah, no, that's sick. Just let him have it. Okay, yeah, he's dead. Now let's try and make you level 45 to match with me and then see how much we can do. A long grinding session later, and now this little guy's level 45. I got a couple comments telling me I should start testing stuff out on this boss too. So fire, that's 25,000 damage. Uh. Dude, this little penguin guy is kind of busted. Maybe we can take you into where all the other bosses are, buddy. I like your gumption. But all right, I think that'll do it for this episode of Power World. If you have any suggestions or ideas for me, leave me a comment down below letting me know. Until then, as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see ya.